Holocaust denial. When all those Nazis were being tried in Nuremberg for war crimes. Not one single one of those bastards tried to defend themselves by saying it never happened. He outlined a lot of later practices in that book and talks a lot about the reasoning behind them. So, truly having read it and not believing the atrocities point to a very troubled mind indeed. How do I respond to this? By cutting her off stat. No single response to this will offset the preceding mental gymnastics. This is a huge red flag with a black swastika inside a white circle in the middle. It's easy. Just don't ever talk to her again. The Germans kept accurate records, they are very diligent people. Everyone is in complete agreement. On a Reddit sub, that should say all you need to know. Don't look back. This isn't going to work out. I need to be with someone who believes in reality. What I don't get about Holocaust deniers is. Okay let's say the numbers are wrong. Exactly how wrong would they have to be for it to be relevant to anything? If it's 5 mil does anything change? 3 mil? 1 mil? What if it's 500,000 innocent civilians? Men women and children? Is that better? Like what? Numbers can be wrong but how ridiculously wrong would they have to be to make the holocaust even slightly better? Tell her it was closer to 11 or 12 million when you include the Roma, Slavs, homosexuals, disabled, and dissidents that were murdered as well. Lose her contact info. There is no reason to continue speaking to this person. You can do better. How do I respond to this? Run. Back slowly into a hedge and vanish, like Homer Simpson. She's right it wasn't 6 million people killed in the Holocaust it was 11 million. These are interviews with three concentration camp guards in prison. YouTube. They were trialed in the 60s in the Frankfurt Auschwitz trials and sentenced to prison. The interviews were recorded in the late 70s and early 80s. These guys haven't learned anything. They still think that they did nothing wrong. They are still defending themselves and are still repeating Nazi propaganda and anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. However, when Joseph Kadic, cone for his brutality in Auschwitz, get asked at 10.50 what he thinks about Holocaust deniers he replies. I don't think these people are normal. Let's stick to the truth. It's undeniable. What happened happened. So not even the ones who had every reason to deny it were actually doing it. They knew it's undeniable. It's one of the best documented genocides in world history. Grandpa was an artillery scout. He saw several transfer stations and a couple death camps. It happened. It was worse than anyone can imagine. If she read Mein Kampf, she knows it happened. If she denies it happened, she's lying. Ask her how many does she believe died in the Holocaust. Then point out that she's the one changing the narrative of the Holocaust historians haven't. We don't count David Irving as a real historian. You do not respond to it. Forrest Gump's mom said it best, stupid is as stupid does. As a person who lives in Poland I would suggest that she visit Auschwitz. Actually, I would suggest that to all of those who doubt Holocaust I can't believe that there are people who glorify Hitler. It makes my blood boil. They videoed the whole thing cause they thought they were gonna win, Bill Burr. It is entirely possible that this nice round figure of 6 million dead Jews is not real. It is an approximation that is most likely directionally correct. Nazis did quite a number on them. Suppose the real number is say one half that. What does it even change? Millions of dead Jews is millions of dead Jews. 
It doesn't make Hitler somehow less evil. Are Mein Kampf any more valid? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.